Guts on RGB. Find out who got guts in the news. Then we learn why some famous faces are famous. And we chat to Fifi Cooper. Hey guys, welcome to the best part of your weekend. RGB here on SABC One. I'm Fat Joe. And I'm Sinazo Yolo. And as always, the real Kaboza is a gupatela umkosi otchisa be. It'll keep you warmer than your F boy. Now, I know you're missing the long weekends, but you know what? The next 30 minutes will feel like an extra day's worth of happiness. Yes, April, according to the calendar, got to in mind because Africa month is this May. That's right. This month is used to highlight not only the challenges the continent faces, but also the culture, success, and innovations that illuminate the world's misconceptions of the dark continent. Let's get to dissolving misconceptions and misunderstandings surrounding your favorite African celebrities. Kokuni Pakela Inyan Yaleveke Nankumkos. As the case of Briggs here rape is turning into 50 shades of hair. This is after his wife Mobile testified about how she encouraged her husband's womanizing Ezama Ukukusela Umchato Wake. And Briggs, in return, got a hooker for her birthday because everybody wants the gift that keeps on giving. Right, Joe? Sounds like fun. Mm -hmm. Singer songwriter Leanne Zamini has come out swinging at female celebrities that flame other ladies in their industries. The End Girl Hate campaign aims to address the problem where ladies pull each other down to get up, or as she calls it, the elephant in the room. And if you don't get it, girl, you're the angry elephant. The man who once said that real men don't eat pies was seen chowing down on a pie. Wonga Zanga City, we ain't turned there. Now, personally, chowing at the pie better than I is not the same pie you and I are thinking. Yeah, exactly. So I think people got it wrong. I eat pie. Questa, groupies might want to grab some tissues uh, because the man is off the market and soon to be married. He says he couldn't be happier and no, that is not a challenge for you to prove him wrong. Oh boy, it's the Linda Wakoyo Ebomini is the happiest she has ever been. Physically, mentally, and spiritually, she is content. Because all these celebrities seem to be happy. Isn't that weird? I'm happy. Blessers must fall. That's the hashtag. That's what actress Tandi Matlaila is preaching and talks to young girls, hoping to stem the tide of young ladies getting used by older men. Power to you, Miss Matlaila. In the end, as long as rich guys want it and girls need airtime, the blessings will flow. Mm -hmm. Ambitious Records rapper Pretty Ugly has claimed that he met with one of the top radio playlist compilers in the country, Wakala Loba Akupe, 25,000 rand for two weeks' worth of airplay. Manje, mm. corruption, up left, right, and center. But then again, couldn't my ballad noise just get him a better rate? I wonder who the compiler was. Someone I know, perhaps? Uh, Letejo Zulu has shown the true meaning of spiritual strength, cycling from Josie to KZN in memory of her late husband, Gugu. Uh, and adding to this, Gugu's father passed on days after she completed the challenge. Very sad. Uh, my lady, we salute you. Uh, our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. And here's to better days. And with that, the news has ridden off into the sunset for another week. In the fame game, it's hard to know why you should remember somebody's name. Here is another dose of the only time celebs Chongo Kwabo Amazwi about why you should remember their names. I am the number one female rapper in South Africa right now and will be for the rest of all eternity. Most booked, most flyest, most talented. <laughs> I'm kidding, yo, but whatever, I'm the illest. For why am I famous? Unga Sabi, just tag us on a post on social media and we can make your dream come true faster than a level five blesser. Now, when it comes to spitting bars, our first guest tonight has more hits than an old hammer. Get it? Hits than an old hammer. Okay, you get it. Here to share how she plans to take over the whole entertainment game, RGB is honored to welcome onto the seat of superstars the new host of Break the Beat, Miss Fifi Cooper! 
Yeah, yo, what it is, what it is, what it is. You're looking rather glamorous, you know. I like, <laughs> I like, I like it when you. ladies Thank buy a you. jacket and go, I, don't, I didn't want it as a jacket, I want it as a cape. <laughs> no, huh? but it was really cold this morning, eh? Yeah, but you're not wearing the jacket. Yeah, like, you, it's you just, just for the swag. Sometimes just it? put it on for the swag. And then I see you <laughs> blinging. Yeah, yeah, It's happening, yeah. eh? Life is good. Independency is paying the bills. Trust me, it is. All right, so we've got a lot to talk about. Firstly, congratulations on your brand new TV show, Break the Beat. Thank Tell you so much. Tell us about that. What's, Thank you so much. How did you get involved with that? And um, You know, um, God does amazing things. I just got a phone call, you know. So you didn't audition? You weren't expecting it? No, it was just a cold call? I they wasn't said we... really, yeah, I wasn't expecting it, to yeah. be honest. Um, I just got a call from my PR manager. She was like, uh, we have to go to Evan Blue for a meeting. Mm. Um, they want you to come audition for the show. And then we came, we had a meeting. Obviously, I had a little script. I had to do one, two, three. Hey, you know what time it is? Break the beat, we out chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and then <laughs> I got uh, um, that phone call. That and audition, it was right? like, yeah. yo, man, your contract is ready. And you got the job. I was really excited and happy. When, when did you hear about this? When did, they, when did you guys basically sign the deal? Um, I think. A few weeks ago, wow. uh, two, three weeks ago. So this is after you had made the news that you're leaving yes. Ambitious. So yes. it feels like maybe was it the same week that you? No, it's not the same week. That's why I'm saying everything happens for a reason. God right, already right. planned this. Yeah. So it just came out of nowhere. I didn't expect it, but I was really excited and overwhelmed. All right. So what's the show about? Is it a competition? Yeah, it's a hip hop dance show. We basically just want dance crews. Um, okay. Each crew must have five members, four dancers, and one DJ. And we're going to be going province to province. Uh, we're doing Free State, Western Cape, KZN, gotcha. and Gauteng. And yeah, people must just follow Instagram for more and, information. And, and what, what do the dancers be. get out of it? Like um, the winning? 100K. 100K. And dancers wow. must be over 18. Get out of yes. here. Okay. 100K. That will set up a crew. And then obviously to feature in <laughs> Fifi Cooper's next video, right? <laughs> Maybe? No? Yeah, yeah, no, okay, that's our deal, it's cool. All right, um, okay, well, congratulations on that. Um, Thank you. Uh, so many things have happened to you in a period of what, I feel like there was no Fifi Cooper two years ago. How long have you been on the scene? Um, since 2014, it's been yeah. two years. Yeah, two years, it's been a crazy ride. So before you released, well, what's that single, Kisses, right? Yeah. What were you doing? Um, I was a mother, I was back home. I have a three-year-old son. So you're a mom in Mafike, mm -hmm. Munsiwa. Yes. And were you working? Yeah, no, I was not working. I was doing the show for like, you know, Bam Pizza Kuri Gigi in sort of five K Nyana. So you were like I was hustling. So you were life. you were like the opening act in yes. that part of the world. If yes. if Casper's coming, you'd come there and you just get the crowd yes. riled up. Yeah. So you had music even then. Yes. Where yes, were you yes. recording? Um we had just a little studio only my gang at Kukasi, you know, studio sales of this throw little penty holes who was still, you know, struggling. Using headphones for yeah. microphones. Yeah, no, but you know what I see what one of the headphones. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were using that, so um, obviously a person grows as time goes on, and me getting a deal um, in 2015 was just a blessing. Now that all this craziness has happened, like you, you're traveling, now you got a TV show, yeah. you just left your record label, you're the big mm -hmm. boss, you, you're traveling around Africa in under two years. Mm -hmm. Like, that must be crazy not only for you, but also for your mom to just watch and witness yeah. the change. Yeah. I feel like you should grow as a person, you know? Yeah. And for me, the fact that, I think it's a blessing, the fact that I'm in an industry where it's male dominated, so I have to work twice as hard. There's no time for me to play or sleep. Mm. So I feel like that's why like a lot of things are coming to me. It's right. because I've made peace with the fact that I cannot sleep. I always have to be five steps ahead of somebody, you know? So that's how I keep it going. And you know, my son is my motivation. I have to make sure that there's somebody willing happy and I keep on making this money. Yeah. The money must be dizzying. Huh? No. It not must be really. dizzy. Oh, it's not dizzying yet. Um, why did you leave ambitious? Because um, the money wasn't dizzying. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, but like I did say, I was yeah. not really happy financially. I've been there for two years and I was not moving financially. What, what, it wasn't making sense. What was sense. the issue? Is it that you, you sold lots of albums and you didn't see any money from that? Or that you were doing lots of shows and No, like no, I've been there for two years. There's Got you. No, so there was no reporting. Like, oh, yeah. 2015 guy, like those questions, you know. Okay, when I look at you, I'm thinking you must have made from ringtones, album sales, yeah. touring. You must have seen at least five million. I wish. So, can I ask, 
How little has the money been that you received? Is it like... Um, it was just an allowance every month, like I go to That's it. UJ, yeah. So you'd be doing 30 shows a yeah, month so in some months, and then you'd still only get the allowance. Yeah. And then they'd bank the show money. Yeah. And my mom wasn't happy because my mom wanted me to go back home because she was like, I don't understand why you're still in Joburg if you're not making money, you know. And I had to take a choice of leaving the record label and studying. No, you made the right choice. The, um, there's no dispute about that if that was the case. Um, when you, how many Metro Awards did you win um, that, that year? Four. You won four. And, and the idea was you three, get... Three, yes, three. You get 100,000 for each award. So you didn't even see that money? No, we had to split it in half because um, he did the radio tours and we bring the lady pamphlet. And... What do you mean for, for the, to, to get people to vote? Yes. Wow. Very interesting. Yeah. It would seem that, okay, yeah. Um, so Fifi Cooper Records. Mo Cooper Records. Oh, Mo Cooper Records. Yeah. Are you the only artist on that label? Yes, I'm the only artist because it just started and obviously yeah. I'm learning the text letter and see those are new to me. So yeah. every day I learn something new. I don't want to sign people. Next thing, I'm also confused. I don't know what's going on, you know? Yeah, that's the hardest part of being an entertainer, especially when yeah. you go and do it yourself, is yeah. learning the business because that also takes a while. Really Have you hard. not considered signing with another major or another label? Not really, you know, but like sometimes obviously you do think about those things, you know, you think about the benefits that you'd get from that. Because how old are you now? I'm 25. You're 25 years old. Mm -hmm. I, I know that record labels generally rape the artists, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like with, with, with the talent that you have and the opportunity that you, you have now, mm -hmm. you don't really want to be thinking about the business stuff, but yeah. you also don't want to get cheated. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I would say sign with a label. Even if it's a distribution deal and they give yeah. you a label deal as well yeah. so that you have your own label. Yeah. And then as you mature, obviously, you, you, you sign new artists. Um, tell me about what's been going on in Africa. I understand you've just come back from East Africa. And um, from Nigeria. Yeah, I was in Nigeria. I was doing a show there called The Weekend Takeover. It's the biggest show in Nigeria. They have your Technos, your Davidos, everybody. How many people um, showed up? Yo, 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 a lot. I don't even know. Like the way Because they do I concerts and 100,000 people show up. Like they it's have just huge thousand, numbers. Thousand. Yeah. Yes, you know, it was at Echo Hotel. It's so big and it was so packed. Um, me, obviously, going there for the first time, I was just overwhelmed. Everything was just shocking to me. How was the, the food? The heat was, the food, <laughs> everything was just a lot, you know. Right, so, right, right. Um, it was just a new experience for me, but definitely I would love to go, you know, back. Uh, me working on my album, definitely I did a song with Vie. Um, Who did you work with? Hey, with the secrets. Hey. Please tell us. I don't trust anybody. Really? Yes. Is it going to be a big hit? Yeah. Yeah. That's it dope. is. Trust me. Yeah. Yeah, and so. That's just me. Um, it was really great. It was it was really amazing. I would definitely go back any day. Did you when you got there? Did you were you overwhelmed? Did they have like security with like AK forty sevens and stuff protecting you twenty four seven? No, not really. Hey, because the thing is, you know, the Fifi Cooper that you have in South Africa, they don't have in Nigeria. So when you get there, don't expect that they know who Fifi Cooper really is. Oh you know? right, right, so, right. So Hakuna. But, but after, this hit, after and, uh, this hit song. So, but yeah, <laughs> after this hit song, I know for sure, for Sheezy, you yeah. understand that, yeah, it's, it's gonna go down. But it was really great. Those people love South African music, I would not lie. They were wow. singing word by word. I was so shocked. Which song? Kisses. You lie. Kisses, everything. I like it when you touch like that. I'm like, okay. Wow. That's that great. is incredible, man. Yeah. Well, look, congratulations on everything, your new label, Thank your new you. TV show, your expansion plans. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll make that call for you, all right? Please, I'll make that please. call. I will be waiting. There you have it. Now, I know you want to go on Insta and YouTube to let Fifi's picks uh, and bars warm you up faster than your heater. So here's your chance as RGB takes a commercial break. We'll be right back. Coming up, we walk the runway with Gert Johan Goetzeer at SA Fashion Week. Then we get advice on what to do when celebrities text the wrong target. Your African gossip leader, Irio Koposa, Ibuhileke, Isobonisa, where now what the A-list life is like. That's right, the next piece of the good life for you to feast on is SA Fashion Week showing of one of our nation's most prolific designers, Gert Johan Kutzir. I've decided to do Fashion Week a little differently than we normally do it. This collection was inspired by Oriental 80s glam. I just spent time in New York doing an internship there with a top pattern maker 
and, um, and I think a lot of my technical abilities in this collection came from what I learned there. The one fashion secret I've kept all my life that you can actually wear black and brown together. I think the undergarments. <laughs> How do you describe something without words? How do you look glamorous? I don't think you should ever suffer in style. When you've paid billions of rands for shoes that are uncomfortable. They say, Ubuhle, we are such enzel. What would I do if I found one of my family members raiding my wardrobe? I usually just pull them by the ear, hey? I'm gonna start getting aggressive and telling people that they're not allowed to come over to my house anymore. So if I had to pick five items that I had to wear for three months, definitely need a pair of jeans. A really comfortable running shoe. Leather jacket. Um, a blazer. And a clutch. If I ever heard someone saying something bad about my outfit, I'd carry on moving on and living my life because I don't really care. People are never mean about my work, so I've never overheard any of that. <laughs> They'll be interested because they're talking and I'm wearing. My favorite would have to be there's an olive green dress. I, I love I love how we made army green look absolutely couture. And my favorite piece in this collection has to be the wedding dress. The olive uh, dress that had like a hoodie on. The fez a bridal count. My thoughts on today's collection. Gert Johan Kutzia is a phenomenal talent. It's, it's been a beautiful journey to observe. I think it was amazing, it was very feminine. This is my absolute favorite collection that I've done so far. I think it really sums up the South African girl. I think it's very wearable and it's very glamorous. Once again, Mr. Kutzia shows us all that he can make magic if you give him the right fabric. One thing that should be in everybody's future is a good hookup. Here's a look at what happened when the good people at Havana Rum let the bottles flow as fast as the gossip at their latest event. I'm ready for the real Kaposa. It's a beautiful evening, outstanding turnout. I think it's a show of people looking for the Cuban flavor, for the Cuban taste, for the Cuban rhythm. What are some of the things couples need to send each other by text? More nudes, keep it exciting. Sometimes you just want your woman to send you a young thing saying, hey babe, stop by looking kind of different today, you know what I mean? I'm talking pictures, I'm talking, hey boo, I'm talking, what you doing right now? You got 15 minutes? <laughs> for men, I think it's very important for them to give us a memo as women, if they're expecting to get some on the night. Because sometimes as a girl, you don't have plans for that kind of thing. You didn't shave, you didn't groom. So one of the things I wish I could have unseen, I, I saw my mother and father in a cozy position. You know when you know that someone is vibing with you? Sometimes I wish I could not see that. So have I ever sent the wrong text to the wrong person? I sent the text to someone I had recently broken up with that was meant for the new hookup. If I had to find somebody else's nude somewhere, like on the timeline, girl, I, if I know you, I am telling you, then I'm checking if your body's right. If my nudes got leaked, I would switch off my phone for a week. How do I exit a group chat? I literally leave. How I exit is just by finalizing everything and making sure the money's right, the communication's right. It's a pull-out game, man, just pull out. <laughs> I'm telling you, all of you people, don't add me to the WhatsApp group that I don't want to be in. No, no, I leave a group chat. Like a ghost, I'll be gone. I see it was more lit than a bright fire, Sanazo. Now, uh, if you're worried about your nudes getting leaked, just give them to me where they will be in <laughs> safe hands. Says the man whose left ring finger is expecting a delivery soon. He has a lot of So I don't want to give him something that's going to make him rethink tying the knot. Well, uh, we, know, we won't know till it happens. Uh, for now, your Continental Gossip Leader is taking a break. RGB will return shortly.
The home of celebrities is back to make you happy you paid your TV license. Now, when it comes to the pinnacle of luxury, the name Rolls-Royce always springs to mind. Mm -hmm. The British car maker invited some celebrities to ogle vehicles that even strong kanyimbao type blessings struggled to buy. And while they were dreaming... RGB was scheming and found out what other celebrities or luxuries celebrities want and dream of. Oh, we're living the life. How do you spot someone who is wearing a starter pack badge? If they have like their windows wide opened with a, <laughs> like music banging, why are you trying to entertain the whole highway? Do you know what I mean? Can you then tell when someone is wearing the blesser badge? I was asking a friend of mine recently who I suspect is a blesser. So what, what level is your friend on? Uh, yeah, Gotta yeah. hook a girl up. No, I think, I think, I think he's, quite, he's quite high. Might be checking for him. I'm trying to make Next him one. my Moreki. <laughs> you can smell money from a mile away. What is a guy doing like at a club alone? Yes. What do you reckon is the ultimate or the most extreme luxury? For me, that's like, and then I've been seeing pictures of first class. I mean, have you seen first class and some of these things? Full on shower real kind of luxury and real bespoke is being able to make your own choices. What do you think is the one thing that used to be a luxury but has now become a necessity? The car. A car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A car, number one. It's cell phone. If you could choose anybody to be your driver, who would it be? Safari's coach. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have me some Boris coach and yes. Morris with a little bit of Morris chestnut, you know, all up in there. Can I see my husband? <laughs> David Beckham. So how does one make that transition from driving to being driven? It's just personal choice. Like for instance, I'm a bit of a blind bed, so I have to be driven, darling. What is the best thing about not having to drive yourself? I think the best thing about not driving yourself is that you don't have to deal with the road rage. So you just sit in the back and daddy and say, okay, left, right, front, center. Oh, being able to do your makeup in the car. There's like <laughs> nothing better than that. Time for yourself, sit in the back, chill, do some work, catch up on phone calls. This is me. I can't race to be in this car. <laughs> that race suits you perfectly, Sanazo. So uh, when are you taking delivery? Sure soon, man. I'm just waiting for that 5 million rand e-wallet to hit the account and then vroom vroom. All right, well, it feels like winter's back with more anger than a girlfriend that just found out she's the side piece. As RGB, we ask you to be safe in your efforts to keep warm. There's no point in not making it to next winter because of this one. Now, this is the part where we have to kiss you and say goodbye. Then please contact our Facebook, Twitter, and personal pages that should be on your screen. And remember that if we block you, then you probably deserve it. Good night. Kiss it. Touch like that, like it when we kiss like that. And we K I S S I H E. Ooh, 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 come give it to me one more time. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Now I remember back in high school. Now when I fell like yeah, well in my baby boo. Cause you my man crush every day. Like a bakare, we're a mage made in hell. You know that we don't care.